I am ready. Wait, I'm sorry, I'm just getting my um, legacy save open. I have big plans today. We're playing with the Potts family, not so very, and then I'm dying Dan's hair purple. <laughs> so, <laughs> should be fun. Oh, Maya, now I'm gonna have a meltdown. I didn't get rid of the Discord event. Um, I understand that it says the wrong thing. That's because there's been an incident. I'll have to explain. Um, okay. Playing not so very. And then dying Dan's hair. Okay, stupid Discord event. Whose idea was it to make these? Anyway, it's fixed. So we were supposed to do our Katy Perry sweet treat stream today. And then yesterday, my my Katy Perry wig was delivered. Well, it wasn't at the house, so I thought, oh, it must be in the mailbox. That's fine. I'll go after stream. We'll get it out of the mailbox. It'll all be good. I go to the mailbox. Empty. Nothing is in the mailbox. That's not good. So what I assume has happened is the wig was delivered to the wrong house. I also bought soap at the same time from Amazon and both were delivered yesterday and are not here. So I think that it was either delivered to the wrong house, but more likely I think that the key was put in the wrong mailbox. Cause we have like, uh, everyone has like a mailbox. It's about like yay big, you know? And then um, if you have packages, they put a key in there for the bigger mailbox. I think that the key was put in the wrong mailbox. Um, and so I don't have it. <laughs> and I don't know where it is, and I can't get it because it's not in my mailbox, and I don't know which one, so we can't do it today. So I bought a replacement wig, but it's not supposed to come, it hasn't come yet, and it won't be here until like, probably, I mean it said it before 10 p.m. So we did a vote in the Discord, and we agreed to do the Katy Perry stream on Friday instead to like ensure we had the full costume. And to make it up to you, we're gonna dye Dan's hair today. So anyway, it's annoying because I don't know where it is. It's gone. Like, it's just not here, but whatever. Um, they should give me a refund. Yeah, I'm going to throw a fit. I'm going to get my refund. Don't worry. <laughs> um, but anyway, so the um, that's, that's the situation with Katy Perry is our wig was stolen. <laughs> um, also, we raised the goal. I, I saw someone just now ask, like, what that number is. That's how much money we raised for St. Jude last year. So the new goal is the donations from last year. Does that make sense? I thought that was kind of a good number. So <laughs> that's how much we raised last year. Um, so the new goal is like, can we beat last year's total? Um, Cause we, we passed 300,000 yesterday. Oh my God. Anyway, so that's the update. Um, we're gonna play with the Not So Berry Challenge today um, for like the next two hours. And then at six, it's currently four. Um, we're gonna dye Dan's hair. So it should be fun. <laughs> It should be fun. The Discord says the Fall Guys tournament is at 4 a.m. Saturday, June 4th, 4 p.m. I th it's right. Are you sure? Check it again, because I see it as saying the right time in the Discord. I think it should be fine. That's weird. Yeah, I had to edit it back because it did say 4 a.m. when I first did it. I need you all to understand and also to please, I literally beg you to not mock me. When I edit the message, like when I make the Discord schedule, this is what it looks like. <laughs> this is what the, um, the things look like. So there's bound to be a mistake the very first second I post it. I check it in a different server, but if I mess up, I would appreciate it if we, I know I'm not like yelling at you, but I'm just saying if I would appreciate it if no one like panicked in general chat, cause it's like, it's, it doesn't show it right. So I have to like send the message and then I'm like, oh, it says 4 a.m. Oops, cause you're not gonna notice that from looking at this, you know? Um, so anyway, if you see anything wrong, oops, if you see anything wrong, um, just, I've, I fixed it literally instantaneously. <laughs> so it's fine. Um, but just keep that in mind, you know, there might be a, the very first second I posted, there might be a mistake cause um, it's weird. <laughs> so bear with me, bear with me, you know? Um, anyway, we're going to play the Sims today. It should be fun. What's the townie scores right now? Oh my God. Good question. Here's how we're looking. Here's what we're looking at. Vladdy daddy with, oh my God, $84,000. <laughs> Bella goth is actually not that far behind. Bella is currently at $80,000. Um, Nancy Landgrab at 48, 
Bob Pancakes at 25, Eliza at 20. I can't believe that Vladdy Daddy has raised $84,000 for charity. <laughs> That's literally so funny. I, I cannot get over that. I'm sorry. <laughs> the idea of him being able to do that is so funny to me. Anyway, what a stand-up guy, you know? Real stand-up guy. <laughs> um, so we're gonna play with the Paws family today. I need to um, update you all after last episode <laughs> because we have one less sim now, so. <laughs> James, thanks for the $20 to St. Jude. Kay with the $20, or $10, I'm sorry. I misread because it like scrolled up while I was speaking. Kaylee is dying her hair while you die Dan's. Nice! Um, a couple anonymous donors. Riley, Joseph, thank you all so much for those donations to St. Jude. Thank you so much. Episode? Well, Frozen, I mean, like, stream. I mean, stream. What happened to yesterday's VOD? I, I split it into two VODs so we could have, like, my dad's hair dying and the hunting separate. Um, I posted the links in Discord because I know it's kind of confusing to find the VODs, but I saved highlights of it. Let me show you. Um, I split it into two VODs, though. When you go onto my channel, if you scroll, you click videos. Um, when you scroll a little bit, you see how it says recent highlights and uploads. I split the VOD into two VODs because that way you can see like the hunt and then shaving my dad's head. So it's a little bit easier to like watch because it was so long. That was my thought process at, at least. Um, anyway, I was going to say, so the Sims. <laughs> you might be noticing Bethany is gone. Real Bethany, fake Bethany, both gone. We eliminated fake Bethany last time. My dad was like, killer. And we were like, okay. So Bethany, fake Bethany is also gone. <laughs> Real Bethany's been gone. Um, fake Bethany is now also gone. Um, also, by the way, Trey with $150 to St. Jude! Thank you so much! We're at 304000 Um, Ava with the 211 Kelly with the 150 Marlene with the $50, Emily with the $75, Amanda with the $35, Co with the $150! It's your birthday! Happy birthday, my friend! Oh my goodness. Um, also, uh, Zero and Ava and Allie, thank you all for those donations, too. <gasps> <laughs> yeah, McMuffins, if you missed it in the Discord, we were supposed to do the baking stream today, but my wig w it was not delivered. It said it was delivered, it's not here. I think they put it in the wrong mailbox, and I obviously can't get to it. Like, we have, you know, like, all mailboxes in one place. I don't- it wasn't- it's not there. My mailbox is empty. <laughs> um, so I don't have the wig, and we decided that it would probably make more sense to do the Sweet Treats stream when I actually had the Sweet Treats costume. So we're gonna do it on Friday instead. I had to buy a replacement. Um, so. We've been betrayed by the wig and my neighbors. <laughs> so the thing is, I'm thinking the most likely thing in my head is that it was delivered to the wrong mailbox. And because it's Memorial Day, I wouldn't be surprised if like my neighbors are out of town or something, like whoever got it. So they haven't been to the mail because they're not here because those people go away for the long weekend or something. Like I just, they probably didn't even know that it got delivered to the wrong place. Like I just wouldn't be surprised. So, um, anyway, <laughs> either way, we don't have it. So. <laughs> Um, uh, horny for bees with their final contribution with the $10 to St. Jude. Marlene with the $50 got accepted to UCF. Is Orlando good? Bestie, I, I grew up here. I'm gonna go with yes. <laughs> um, congrats on getting into UCF though. That's really exciting. Oh, I pressed my button by accident. Um, I too went to UCF. Um, but I grew up in Orlando, so I, I'm not here to say bad things about my home. That's my thought process. Oh, this might be our very last ever gift for uh, Bethany. So, it's a salmon. Ellen, thanks for the $20 to say you too. Thank you so much. Green, that donation number, <laughs> everybody keeps asking this. The donation number is how much money we raised last year. That's why it says that. That's not just like a random number. I didn't just pick like a number out of nowhere. <laughs> That's how much we raised last year. $321,574.69 is the final number from last year. That's why I put it that way. Does that make sense? Um, Lil with the 1069 for the kids with the $20. Tilum with the $300. Thank you so, so, so much, my friends. Thank you so, so, so much. Okay. I'm gonna have you, my dear. Oh, go to school. Wait, why are you at home? No, don't bother. I mean, you're already home, so. 
I don't know what to tell you. You already came home early, I guess. So just stay. That's fine. That's fine. Um, anyway, that's why the number is that. That's how much money we raised last year. So. Dollar train to $321,574.69. <laughs> and Francisca, thanks for the $50 too. Thank you so much. Um, please go dumpster mailbox dive in your, in your neighbor's mailbox. Just so you know, I know that we're memeing about that. One, that's illegal. Two, the mailboxes are locked. <laughs> The mailboxes are locked, so, um, just so you know, <laughs> you are allowed to dig through your neighbor's mail, but also, they're locked, <laughs> so. Um, just, just keep that in mind. <laughs> um, yeah, you can't, you can't just get into people's, um, other people's mailboxes here, they're locked, so. Um, okay, anyway. Sally, thanks for the $30 to the same dude, too. Is the audio cutting? I don't think the audio is cutting on my end, Horny for Bees. I only saw you say it, so it leads me to believe that it might just be on your end. That's annoying, though. Um, okay, I might see about... Let's think about this, right? Because the sooner we can get a move on with um, Tomato's skills and stuff would be good. She needs to eventually max the Charisma skill. Um... So it might be useful for us to, like, start working on that. I don't know, right? Like, we may as well. Um, so, Scene Girl, if you missed it, oh, I'm gonna have to answer this, like, 50 times today, so I'm sorry, chat, if you're gonna hear me say it over and over again. Um, but we can't do the Katy Perry stream today because my um, wig that I ordered was delivered, but is not here. <laughs> so, I think they gave it to, like, the wrong people. I think it's probably in, like, my a neighbor of mine's mailbox or something, and I can't get to it. So, um, we're gonna do it on Friday instead so that we can ensure my replacement wig has arrived. We're gonna do it on Friday instead so that we definitely have the costume, because it defeats the purpose to do it without the costume, you know? So, anyway. Anyway, I posted a whole thing in the Discord, we did a whole poll to decide if I thought it was worth it, do it, worth it to do it today or just wait until Friday, and people, it was like 80% of votes were like, do it today, and, or do it on Friday instead, and then we'll dye Dan's hair today, so. We weren't always gonna dye Dan's hair today, that was a, um, bonus surprise that I decided last minute. <laughs> this morning I was like, wait, this'll fix it! <laughs> also, $305,000 for St. Jude, by the way. Hey, Zoe, thank you for the $500 donation. Graduating from Full Sail University in IT, congratulations! Susan, Lyrica, Marceline, um, Vanya, Jazz, thank you, thank you, thank you for those donations to St. Jude, too. Oh, I'll go to your house, Eugene. I'll go to your house, Eugene. I'm ready. We can try and work on our charisma skill <laughs> if we go to Eugene's house. That's the way. <laughs> I like it, I like it. Um, oh, oh, he's rich. But his house is empty. Okay. <laughs> Eugene, who do you live with? You've got a big family. Okay, well, I'm here to brighten your day. Compliment your outfit. Talk about handsiness. I don't know. This is her boyfriend, Eugene. We're eventually- we think the plan is- Because for the, the Gen 2 of Not So Berry, you have to, um, you have to date, like, ten people. So we're dating him in high school, and then I think we're probably gonna have a kid with him um, once we get into young adulthood, and then we'll probably go home. Or we'll probably- sorry, what am I saying? Oh my god, I'm like- I was thinking I'll go home in a second, but we'll probably break up with him and then date like nine more people. That's kind of my thought process. I just want to have a kid with Eugene because I like him. He's kind of a meme because his name is Eugene Green, and his- he's like mean and a dance machine. Like, all, everything rhymes with this guy, and it amuses me. So. <laughs> I think we're gonna da we're gonna have a kid with him. <laughs> so, Matt, thanks for the twenty dollars to St. Jude too. Thank you so much. All right, I'm gonna go home. I forgot that it's Harvest Fest, so I really want to make sure we celebrate with the family. <sighs> so, you know, Christine, there was talk about cloning Eugene. I don't think it's a good idea. I know it's like a funny meme to clone Eugene and date like ten Eugenes, but realistically, that is so confusing. <laughs> like. I don't know if I actually want to do that. I think that might be too much even for me. <laughs> I feel like it's gonna be too confusing. We're gonna lose count of how many people. I don't know. Um, I feel like it's just easier <laughs> if we don't do that. Karina, thank you for the $150. Flora and Loki and Kaleidoscope, thank you for those donations too. 
All right, I'm gonna actually invite Eugene here. I feel like Eugene can come for um, Harvest Fest. I think that would be nice. I'm gonna go cook a grand meal of some tofurkey as well. And we'll have a little party together. I'm ready. Ash, thanks for the $50 to St. Jude too. Thank you so much, Fred. I'm sorry to hear you had a bad day. Um, hopefully, hopefully you feel a little bit better soon. Okay, after this, you can mess with that. Who's calling me? Leave me alone. I don't want to hear any prank calls. How did Bethany die? My dad suggested we kill her in the pond, so we did that. But the Bethany that died in the pond was a clone of the real Bethany, who had previously died in a pond, um, because of donations we received to St. Jude. So, <laughs> thought, oh, it was a cow plant. Oh, never mind, it was a cow plant. Oh no, we killed her with a cow plant because my dad wanted to. No, you're right, it was a cow plant that killed Bethany. I forgot. She died in the pond first, though. That is true. <laughs> Res, Katie, thank you for those donations to St. Jude. Oh, it's terrible quality. That's fine, we'll all come eat it anyway. <laughs> um, and hey, Mila, thank you for the dollar to St. Jude also. Thank you so much. Um, we're gonna dye Dan's hair purple, Onyx. We're gonna dye Dan's hair purple. It should be fun. Um, can I just say, and I say this with love, but everyone, I am literally begging you, begging you to not harass me about the way I'm going to dye Dan's hair. <laughs> okay? <laughs> I'm not gonna do it in a weird way. I'm just like, I'm, I'm literally begging you to not backseat me dyeing his hair. Cause I just, I just know that I'm gonna get stressed and I don't wanna be stressed. <laughs> I've had enough stress this month. <laughs> Please don't make me be stressed. <laughs> but I'm literally begging you. No, we're not gonna bleach it first, B. Uh, we're not gonna bleach it first, but we are gonna use Arctic Fox dye, so I think it'll cover it. I think it'll go over it pretty well. Um, I've used, not this color, but I've used pink Arctic Fox dye on my own hair before, and I think it'll be fine over his hair color, so. Um, I think it'll be fine, but it, we're gonna dye it purple, so. Anyway, but please, literally do not, I'm begging you to please not harass me about how I dye his hair. <laughs> I just, I can see it already, and I'm, I'm literally begging you to please just let me, let me die, let me do it. Just let me do it. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I know that, um, when Dan was cutting my hair on stream, he was, like, so overwhelmed by the chat as well. And it's like, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. It's just for fun. Everything's fine. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Uh, but anyway, I just, I'm, I'm saying it in advance. I don't care how many times you've dyed your hair. It's okay. I've dyed my hair a bunch of times too. Not a bunch, but like five times. So I'm, I'm an expert. <laughs> um, no, purple's not a St. Jude color. Purple was kind of like voted by both my chat and Dan's chat. Most people were like, we should do purple. That was kind of like the general consensus was people wanted purple. Um, and also, I mean, it's like, I guess it's like Twitch purple, um, but most people wanted purple. We kind of did a little vote and people wanted purple, so. Um, purple is a good color. I feel like you can't really go wrong with purple hair, so. Um, exactly, Anna, that's the thing. It can come out patchy and that's fine. It's for charity and it's fun. What do you consider harassing you? Rhea, listen, I need you to understand that there will be literally hundreds of people saying I'm doing a bad job. <laughs> Individually, maybe they, they don't mean any harm and they mean well and they're just trying to give me advice. But as a group, <laughs> it is extremely overwhelming. Like, so terrifying. <laughs> literally terrifying. <laughs> so that's, that's what I mean. <laughs> Um, I, I'm not accepting advice at this time, is what I'm trying to say. I mean, I say that with love. It's just like, there, it, 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 people, they, their advice often comes out in a way that's like, Oh my god, I can't believe you're doing it like this! Do it this way instead! And it, ah. <laughs> So it's okay. <laughs> we'll be all good. It's gonna turn out great. It's gonna be fine. I'm just, I'm gonna ask right now that you please keep your negative opinions to yourself so that I don't get upset. Because <laughs> I'm feeling extremely fragile this month. 
Um, for my little sister who is fighting her battle, she is eight years old and has had leukemia for three years. Hey, friend, thank you, thank you so much for that donation. Please send your sister the biggest love and hugs from me. Um, Anonymous with $20, me and Dan will be purple hair twinsies. Seuss, thank you all for those donations too. <laughs> so, Lily, we can't do sweet trees today. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna, I'm so sorry, chat, because I know I keep talking about this. I know you've heard me say it like a million times, but there, people are gonna keep coming in and asking. Um, we can't do sweet trees today because my wig was delivered to the wrong house. At least I assume it was because it says it was delivered, but it is not here. <laughs> it is not at my front door. It is not in my mailbox. It is not here. I think they might have put it in the wrong mailbox, like, because we, I have, like, you know, a bunch of mailboxes all together. I assume they might have put the key in the wrong mailbox to, like, the bigger box to, to get the package. So I don't have it. <laughs> and I ordered a replacement, um, and it's it's supposed to come today, but not b until, it's like by 10 p.m. it's supposed to come. And so I figured that maybe it makes more sense to just hold off um, and do it on Friday. We did a poll, um, we did a poll in the Discord this morning to decide like what made the most sense, and everyone chose to, to hold off until Friday for it. So um, that's the situation at the time, <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> Um, yeah, well, CG, it was supposed- it came- supposedly it came yesterday morning. Um, but it did not come yesterday morning. <laughs> it's not here. So, um, I don't know, whatever. We I bought a replacement, we're gonna do it on Friday, it's gonna be fine. So, Dora Marie, thank you for the $20 to St. Jude, by the way, thank you so much. Those graves? Oh yeah, this- well, in my defense, we've been playing with this family for, like, a very, very, very long time. Um, if that makes you feel any better. Like, this family is not, um, a new one. <laughs> so, we've got 11 generations. These kids are technically Gen 12. Um, so there's, you know, bound to be a lot of graves around the place, as you can probably imagine, because we've been playing for so long. Um, Laurel, thank you for the $10 to St. Jude, by the way. Okay, don't freeze, Ray. I'm, oh my god. Tomorrow it's, oh my gosh. Hope, that's so exciting. Hope's getting a new PC tomorrow. Big day. Big day. Big day. Remy, thank you for the $20 to St. Jude. As long as you don't pull a 2016 me and try to dye your whole hair by dunking your whole head in Kool-Aid, I think you'll be okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, it'll be fine. I have, listen, I have dyed my own hair with Arctic Fox hair dye before. So I am, I am unconcerned about this. I think it'll be fine. <laughs> I think it'll be fine. Um, everything is all good. The St. Jude stream ends tomorrow. Yeah, Shannon, tomorrow is the last day of May, so it's the last day of our St. Jude stream. No pressure, but tomorrow is the final day. Um, for my sister's 16th birthday, Samuel, sending you good luck for dyeing Dan's hair. Jocelyn, thank you, thank you, thank you for the donations to St. Jude. Jocelyn, send so much love to your family for me. Thank you so much for sharing, and thank you for that donation. Um, yeah, Arctic Fox is good. It's good. Um, so I think it'll be all right. <laughs> okay. No, it's not a never-ending at Not So Berry Satellite. We did a regular legacy for 10 generations, and then with Gen 11, we started Not So Berry. So we finished with Gen 1 of Not So Berry, so we're kind of just waiting until my red sim ages up, and then we can do Gen 2, so. Oh. Oh, I maxed the cooking skill. <laughs> okay. Good job! Go to work, bestie. Have a good time. <laughs> oh, okay. What happened to the Grim Reaper gnome? Oh, nothing happened to it. It just would have disappeared. They, like, move around because of Harvest Fest. I don't know where it is. I'm sure it'll turn up eventually. It, Harvest Fest moves in the- maybe I sold it after Harvest Fest. I don't know. But the gnomes move on Harvest Fest, so. Um... Janelle, bestie, I did not know that. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> that makes me feel horrible. Thank you for pointing it out, though. Um, ay 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 ay. <laughs> oh my god, I want to cry right now. I feel so beyond overwhelmed. You have no idea. I feel so beyond overwhelmed. <laughs> Ah, okay. Anyway, Nicole, thank you for the $2. Doris, thank you for the $25 to St. Jude. Thank you so much. Okay, deep breaths, deep breaths, deep breaths, deep breaths. Channel surf, let's go besties. Let's go gamers. I'm gonna take a shower too. 
Rick is taking a nap again, yeah. Indeed he is. <laughs> Molly, Kalina, thank you for those donations to St. Jude. Oh my god. $306,000, by the way. Hey, Marina, thank you for the $500 donation to St. Jude in memory of your dad. I'm so sorry, friend. I literally cannot imagine what you're going through. Thank you, thank you for that huge donation to St. Jude. Thank you so much. Thank you so, 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 so much. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's crying in the shower. I relate to that a lot, actually. <laughs> yeah, Judge, we raised $321,574.69 last year. That's what the goal is. Um, is how much we raised last year. I thought it'd be fun to, like, set that as the goal. Um... Just because- and yes, playing mama, that's the goal! <laughs> that's why, it's because it's the amount we raised last year. Um, I'm sorry if the uneven number bothers you, but I don't think it's unreasonable to set that as the goal. <laughs> I think it's reasonable. <laughs> um, okay, anyway. I'm gonna have them work on their fun a little bit, because they're not having a good time. So sorry, both of you. It's been a rough day, I understand. Please don't die, though, from being mortified. <laughs> Please don't die from being mortified. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Console about death. Tease about grades. I don't know. I don't know. Um, talk about handiness. Show off selfie. Hug lovingly. Okay. Um, uh, Matinky, thank you for that donation to St. Jude as well. Thank you so much. All right, maybe you can come get some food. Get some leftovers. You will too, probably in a second. You age up in three days. You age up in four days. Okay, that's fine. We got time. We got time. I appreciate that, Purple Sweetheart. I won't lie. I, um, <laughs> I don't want to complain. <laughs> I don't mean it in that way. I just, um, as you can probably imagine, doing like a month long charity event is a, is a lot of pressure. Um, and really overwhelming <laughs> in a lot of ways. Um, and also like, I don't know, I'm, I'm spending a lot of time like thinking about things that are very hard for me to think about. And I don't know, it's just, it's been a really um, tough month for me aside from that mentally. So like, <laughs> I've just been feeling really overwhelmed <laughs> for the past like month. Um, and there's a lot of pressure too with like the final couple days, you know, and then obviously with the whole Katy Perry thing going wrong, I just, today has been like so much. <laughs> I was like running to the store trying to last minute buy hair dye because like we had to pivot the plan and it's just, nah. <laughs> um, it's really overwhelming. So I, bear with me. <laughs> bear with me. Um, anyway, tiny but tough, rabbit fairy, regular botanist, elixir of emotions, in memory of all my, fared ha my failed hair dyes. <laughs> I respect it, bestie, I really do. Um, I'm sorry. We've all been there, though, I think. Um, okay, well, maybe today, I was thinking that it might be good for her to go try and meet some people in case you wanted to, like, um, I know we were talking about possibly dating Rebecca next. Maybe I'll come get to know Rebecca a little bit. Tiff, thanks for the $20 to say Jude. Thank you so much. Um. <laughs> Anyway, bear with me, basically. Um, okay. Lean, mean, Eugene Green, the teen dance machine with the dollar to St. Jude. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm gonna come talk to Rebecca a little bit because I want to see if we can um, be a little bit uh, closer to her when we age up and, and dump Eugene. So. Um, anyway. <laughs> Amanda getting old with the $50. Happy birthday, my friend! Um, Chad with the $2, uh, Ducky with the $5, thank you so much. I'm gonna sing you a birthday song, my dear Amanda. Happy birthday. <laughs> We're going to the baking stream on Friday, actually, Ada. We decided Friday was probably the most, made the most sense. Um, anyway, Simsy's doing a great job, Tara, Tessa, from the, from Toe the Cat. Thank you all for the donations to St. Jude. Anyway, how's the weather? You know, actually, really hot. <laughs> Shockingly, here in Central Florida, really hot. What are we baking? On Friday, we're gonna bake cupcakes that look like little ice creams. That's my plan, at least. 
Um, I thought that would be fun. So we're gonna make little cupcakes that look like little ice creams. Nick, thanks for the ten dollars to Saint Jude. Also, thank you so much. Um, that'd be cute. Yeah, I I'm excited about it. Um, I've got all the stuff. I just don't have my wig. <laughs> I won't lie to you. I was like fully crying about this last night. You don't understand. I was so stressed out I got off stream and I was like, oh my wig says delivered and then I was like, oh, it's not here at the front door it Must be in the mailbox. I go to the mailbox. Nothing's in the mailbox Literally nothing zero empty completely empty and I was like this can't be happening to me right now <laughs> This can't be real So I think I think that either it was delivered to the wrong house But I think more likely it's probably like was put in the wrong mailbox or the key was put in the wrong mailbox So I can't get it um but anyway i was like why is this going wrong <laughs> oh anyway it's fine everything's fine um <laughs> but <laughs> said it was delivered and it was not i was lied to okay anyway i know no one minds like nothing we can do about it um <laughs> anyway <laughs> Uh, Sarah and Eliza, Katy Perry snatched Kayla's wig, wig Avocado, Anonymous, Ellerin, for Lil Simsy's month-long awaited nap. <laughs> Thanks for that donation to St. Jude, friend. I really appreciate that. Okay, I'm gonna maybe, like, call the sadness hotline to try and get rid of my sadness really fast. Um, okay. I think, um, I would like to get rid of those. Is your fun not all the way up? I literally had you watch TV like all day. Why is this happening? Go to sleep. You go to sleep. Everyone go to sleep. And then I'm gonna check the neighborhood stories once it becomes like 3 a.m. Oh my goodness. Okay, save game again. Good work, besties. <laughs> From Flossie and Jasper, my two dogs. Thank you so much, friend. I really appreciate that. Yeah, um, the the clone of Bethany died, Purple Sweetheart. Last time we streamed this, um, because my dad told us we should kill her. So we did. Um, that's the current situation. I'm gonna check to see if anybody else died in neighborhood stories. This is important to me. Someone retired. Good for them. Happy days. Toddlers being adopted. Roomies adopting a household. <gasps> Camila Griffith in the Reed household has died. Fell for a cow plant's cake bait. Oh no. May they rest in peace. <laughs> Magically my. Thank you for the $50 to St. Jude, by the way. Thank you so much. Rose Banks in the Fox and Banks household has died. Rose heard a dad joke and laughed a little too hard. Oh no. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Well, that's tragic. Nothing else happened. Okay. Well, may they rest in peace. Let's come channel surf a little bit. John with a $10 for their best friend, Chris. Hey, my my friend, I am so, 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 so sorry for your loss. Thank you, thank you, thank you for that donation to St. Jude. I, I cannot even imagine what you're going through. Um, I really, I can't thank you all enough. I, I really appreciate, I know um, a lot of people have been like sharing their stories all month um, and, and like donating in honor of people they love. And I just, I wanna say how much that means to me. So thank you all so, 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 so much. Um, Hey, Kayla's wig. Thank you for the five dollars to St. Jude. I know my Katy Perry wig's not here. Mm. All right, how are you doing, Bessie? Morning for the next five hours. That's actually okay. Maybe you can come like, I don't know, practice speech in the mirror <laughs> until we need to go talk to some friends. <laughs> how could the mail betray us? I know, well, for the record, I bought it on Amazon. So what? who's really betrayed us? Amazon. Not surprised. I'm not surprised. Jeff Bezos did this. <laughs> Jeff Bezos is the one. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna practice more speech. <laughs> what does Jeff Bezos have against Katy Perry? That's the real question. <laughs> 
Okay, I'm talking in the mirror because I want to try and get my charisma skill up a little bit more. Um, do you think Jeff Bezos kept your wig for himself? I think he might have. I think he was like, well, that's a pretty nice wig. I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> From Bartholomew, my tuxedo cat. Um, Matt with the $5. Happy birthday, my friend. Happy birthday. And Lila, thanks for the 136. I'm gonna sing you a song, Matt. <laughs> Um, for my mom who beat uterine cancer, hey, my friend, thank you for that donation. I'm so glad to hear that. Um, I'm so, so glad to hear that. And Cole, too, with the donation. I'm gonna dye dance hair at 6 o'clock. So that's, that's 6 p.m. Eastern time. It's currently 4.30. So in an hour and a half, we'll dye dance hair. Oh, I'm sick. I'll go on a date. <gasps> yeah! Are we allowed to cyberbully billionaires on Twitch? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, thanks for the $150 donation to St. Jude. Thank you so much. Um, oh, I, I understand the feeling. I know it's nice to have some alone time sometimes. <laughs> sometimes you just need to avoid people altogether. And Ash, I'm so glad to hear that too, friend. Thank you for the $30 to St. Jude. Oh, he's upset as well. Did someone you know die? Did a cow plant get you too? If so, I'm sorry. I know the feeling. Okay, I'm gonna take a selfie. Why does he hate me? He hates me! He hates me! I'm gonna take a selfie with you, not a picture of you. Okay, well... This will be good for my wall, I think. <laughs> I don't know, maybe we can hang these up. It'll be nice. I don't know. I don't know. Miss Kitty with the $10 in honor of your mother and grandfather. And your sister has had cancer three times, but she's a survivor. My friend, thank you so much for that donation. Sorry about the wig from Jeff Bezos. <laughs> Big woofer. Hobie, Winnie, Alyssa, MCAT. Thank you so, so, so much. Hey, MCAT, I really appreciate you saying that. They said that um, since Dan moved, I seem really happy <laughs> and more confident. That's really sweet of you to say. Um, I will say that, um, it's helped a lot with my anxiety not being alone all the time. $307,000 for St. Jude, by the way. <laughs> Thank you so much. But yeah, it's been, um, really nice to not be alone all the time, uh, as a person who is so afraid at literally all times. So, <laughs> we're at $307,000 for St. Jude, by the way. I just want to make sure we point that out again. $307,000 for St. Jude. No, Tomato can't flirt with anybody yet because she's only a teen, Twitchy, but I'm just trying to meet some people. I'm trying to work on my charisma skill and stuff, you know? Um, okay. I think... Compliment outfit. Yes? Yes? I think Dan's actually kind of excited to risk a gal. Um, I think Dan's kind of looking forward to dyeing his hair. Um, it's fun. It's fun to do something fun like that, you know? Um, hey, Sydney, thanks for the $20 to say Jude. Thank you so much. Yeah, he's very excited to match Shella, is what he, what he was saying. He's like, wow, I can't wait until me and Shella have the same hair. Um, <laughs> he keeps saying that, yeah. It's, he's really excited to match you. <laughs> Yanji, thank you for the $5. Happy birthday, my friend. Happy birthday. <laughs> anyway, his hair's gonna be purple, so that's the plan. Okay. Do I want to hang out tonight? I thought we were hanging out. Okay, I'll go with you again. That's fine. That's fine. Get redacted Jeff Bezos with the $1. Yeah, so we're like about 14k away from last year's goal. If you didn't know, this weird number, the goal, is how much money we raised last year. Um, that's why the goal is that weird number. I didn't just do it for no reason. <laughs> um, that's because it's how much money we raised last year, so. Okay, well, I'm gonna heartfelt compliment, knock knock joke, share a secret, give repair tips. Oh, they've got a sentiment gained. And then maybe start a gathering so I can invite everybody else over. 
Here's some more teens. Do I need to bother with meeting them yet? Maybe I should just go with these ones first. Yikes, Sarah with the $5 for their grandma. Thank you so much, friend. I really appreciate that. Um, okay. We're dying dance hair at 6 p.m. my time. That's 11 p.m. in the UK to someone who just asked. That's in an hour and 20 minutes. If that helps. Oh, the romance festival is in town? <sighs> Wait. I might see about giving Rebecca a little bit of a makeover really fast, too. Um, and then, uh, maybe we'll take Rebecca to the romance festival. Not to, like, cheat on Rebecca or any- or cheat on my boyfriend or anything, but I might, um, I might. So, I'm just gonna see- I mean, honestly, her makeup looks pretty good. I might just see about giving her some of- maybe, like, some of the new kit clothes or something. Just so that we can have, like, somebody more interesting to date. I don't know. There's no full body outfits. Well, there's one from the new kit, but... What time is that in the US? It's 6 p.m. Eastern time. I put it in the stream title. It says, Dying Dan's hair at 6 o'clock Eastern time. <laughs> um, to hopefully help make it easier in case you forget, so. Um, in an hour and a half. Maybe I'll do one of the styled looks. Honestly, I'm like actually obsessed with this styled look. Yeah, the other sims in this household are really pretty, too. Obviously, they're getting old, but... <laughs> Her siblings and stuff are pretty, so... I quite like this styled look. I think it's good. Maybe we'll put her in all styled looks, just so it can be easier for us. I hate to say it, but... Oh, boo. Give me something better. That's... I don't like that. Um... Maybe we could wear a skirt with it instead. <laughs> Matt, thank you for the donation. Oh, we could put on one of the new skirts, actually. Wait. Um, the pants are separate, yeah. The pants are separate. Um, there's a new skirt that's, like, kind of shiny. I might do that and then give her, like, a top with it. I don't know which one. Oh, what's that from? That's from Get Famous? Why have I never seen that before? Huh. Huh. Okay, I'm not really- I wish that was like, tucked in or something. <laughs> Aria, thank you for the $50 to St. Jude! Um, Sinful Shrimp Hands with the $42! Um, uh, Matt, thank you, thank you for that $5 to St. Jude! Um, just came out as they, he, and this pronoun update makes me feel seen. My friend, that is absolutely amazing news. Um, I'm so, 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 so glad to hear that. Um, thank you for that donation. Um, Jeffrey, Trina, Avian, Camo Cows, Kayla, Yikes, Sarah, thank you all for those donations, too. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, all right, I want to see if we can find something that maybe looks a little bit better with this. Even that might be kind of cute, actually. Or some sort of crop top would be good. I don't know. I just want, like, something that matches better with it. But this might be okay. I think this could work. Maybe we could give her, like, the earrings in black and then maybe, like, more... We could do, like, more of a purpley lipstick to match the... Can you make it, like, a bit of a purpley reddish color? Yeah, that's better. Okay, thank you very much. I think... Just, I don't care. I literally don't care at all what she looks like. I'm just trying to have an extra person to date in the future. It doesn't matter, really. The clown shoes? The clown shoes! shoes. Laurel, Leah, Jenny, um, Bella is almost beating Vlad in the pole. No, you're lying. Oh god, she's actually getting closer. That's scary. Um, <laughs> your youngest viewer, 11-month-old Elliot. He watched almost all your streams with me this month and he smiles every time you're on TV. Oh, thank you for sharing that with me. That makes me so happy. And Lulu with $150 as well. Thank you so much. I might just let her keep this, honestly. <laughs> I'm just 
gonna keep it. You don't- I don't have to change your outfit for that one. That's fine. You can wear that. <laughs> I'm- I'm good with it. That's okay. You know what? If you like it, then- then embrace it, you know? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, eyeball ring? I don't know about that one, besties. I don't know about that one. I do kind of like this outfit. I think that's kind of cute. No eyeball ring. Violet Vampire Grey, thank you for those donations to St. Jude too. Okay, cold weather. I literally do not care what she wears, I won't lie. I just want her to have like something reasonable and maybe not clown shoes, but I kept them, so. <laughs> not the clown shoes and Julia with the gift card party with the 487, thank you so much. Um, it's actually not a bad idea. People recently, a bunch of people have been donating um, with like the remnants of gift cards they've had. They'll be like, oh, here's 237 that I found on a gift card or like, <laughs> and I think that's great. So thank you so much for doing that. Um, that's really sweet. Oh, I'm lost. Switch control the tomato back again, please. For my cat who turns five today. Oh, that's awesome news. Thank you so much. Um, happy birthday to your cat. My cat's birthday is soon. Oh my God. Do you know what- oh, do you know what's something horrible that I thought about recently? So my cat is almost 14, okay? Um, my cat turns 14 in like a week and a half. There are probably people watching this stream that are younger than my cat. weird to think about? Isn't that so weird? Oh. <laughs> it really throws me off. It really does throw me off. I don't want to hear how old you are, by the way. No age chat. But, um, especially if you're a minor, no age chat. But it really throws me off the thought of, like, humans that can, like, s type. <laughs> and, like, are legally allowed to have a Twitch account that are younger than my cat really throws me off. The whole idea of that is very confusing to me. <laughs> But anyway, no age talk. No age talk, please. We try to avoid talking about our age in chat just so that no, no minors say their age. That's the main goal is that no minors say their age, so. Not even for a joke, please. But anyway. <laughs> Still, the thought of it, truly. Shall we go to the Romance Festival then with her? I think I will. I'm gonna go to the Romance Festival with her. I quite like Rebecca. I think she's pretty. Oh, Mia! Thank you for the $200 to St. Jude! Dollar train to Bella taking her rightful top spot. No, I want Vladdy to win! <laughs> Tired, thanks for the donation, too. Alright, I'm going to the romance festival with someone who is not my boyfriend. Look, if anybody's gonna cheat, okay? It's gonna be the same with the serial romantic aspiration. Like... <laughs> She has to date 10 people in her life. She's not a good person. We knew this. We knew this. Um, anonymous with the $10 to St. Jude. And someone asked, do I think we'll get body hair with the werewolf pack? Do you know what? I've been thinking about that a lot. I don't, I mean, I, you would assume so, right? But I don't know. I, I, you would assume we would, but I guess we'll see. I'm not, I'm not out here trying to get my hopes up though. <laughs> But I feel like if they're gonna add in body hair, like, doing it, like, in a base game update alongside the werewolf pack kind of makes sense. Um, but I don't know. I guess we'll see. Um, anyway. <laughs> I don't know. They didn't announce werewolves yet, no, but they've been teasing it a lot. Um, they've been really heavily hinting. Even the gurus today were doing, like, a bunch of, um, like, posting, like, codes. Um, oh, my eye has something in it. Help. Um, that you could, like, decipher, and I, like, they were, like, blatant, um, one of them was, like, welcome to, I think it was the world's name, I assume, they, they had, like, a bunch of hints on, on Sims Twitter today from the Sim Gurus accounts, um, like, they've really been hinting at werewolves, so, oh my god, why? Something's in my eye! Don't look at me! Okay, maybe it's fine. <laughs> Appreciate you, little Simsy, with the donation, Morgan with the donation, turn 22 today, happy birthday, friend! <laughs> we reached 300,000 yesterday always. We raised a lot of money yesterday for St. Jude. Um, oh. Oh, the other kids in the club must have aged up. 
I think Eugene must have aged up. Oh, because everyone else is out of the teenage club. So that's not good. Well, even more the reason to flirt with somebody else. <laughs> Even, yeah, Moonwood Mill, that was one of the leaks. Or, it wasn't a leak, it was a hint, specifically from the gurus. But one of the, um, codes was like, Welcome to Moonwood Mill. So that leads me to believe that's probably the name of the world. Again, they haven't confirmed that, but... I feel like that kind of checks out. I don't know, I guess we'll see. It's kind of fun. Um, sounds like a lot name. Oh, it kind of does sound like a lot name. You're right. Blow a kiss. Moonwood Mill? Yeah. Get it? Moon? I don't know. I I feel like at this point it must be like, it must certainly be werewolves. I mean, what else could it be? Compliment appearance. I'm a dirty cheater. Look at this. You have a boyfriend! I'm about to kiss this person! Dirty time traveling cheater! I'm still gonna do it though. Wait, why do you look so grumpy? I wanna kiss! She's wearing a red hat. That must mean she's in love with me, right? Because she's wearing red and I'm the red gen of not so very. Kiss hands. Have ha Oh, she just aged up. Dang it! <laughs> I can't kiss her hand. Okay, well, it's a good thing we got started. <laughs> she's a young adult now. That's fine. I'll get some food. That's fine. Dollar train to defend Vlad, Juliet. Thank you for those donations to St. Jude, by the way. <laughs> Katrina, we try and avoid talking about age um, in Discord and on Twitch. I hope you understand, but the goal is mainly to lead by example. I know that actually the majority of you are not kids um, and are not minors either. There are a lot of minors here too that are like in high school and stuff, but um, we're kind of trying to lead by example. I don't care if you're 400 years old. I think it's just best to like not talk about ages because I really don't want the minors to talk about their ages because you never know who's creepy. Like I just don't want, I just don't want to risk that. So as a general rule of thumb, we try and avoid talking about that kind of thing online. So, um, that's my thought process at least. And we even try to avoid joking about it too. So, um, anyway, I'm trying to eat this so I can see if I can unlock the recipe. Yes. Now I can make puffer fish. This is a big day for me. <laughs> oh, I am villager hunting and I just found Frobert who is a jock. Jock is my least favorite personality and I already have two, but I like him best. Should I take him and wait for the other jocks to leave or not take him? I think you should take him and then try and get the others to leave. That's what I would do. Cause then you could have him and then not your other two. I say take him and then try and get the others to leave. You know, that's what I would do at least. Um, is I would take the frog. Always take the frog. So, and that's the thing, Fanta, exactly. There's no need to really bring your age up in chat. You know, that's, that's, that's personal information. You don't need to ever say that. Um, it's okay. Um, all right. Um, <laughs> all right. Anyway, I think, um, perhaps we shall go to bed. Well, maybe I'll go channel surf a little bit and then go to bed. I like that. Oh, Remy, thank you for the $50 donation to St. Jude. You are so generous. Thank you for the kind words to Janelle with the $455, Anonymous with $150 for your brother's best friend, um, and Xander with the $25 to St. Jude too. Everyone, thank you so much. I really, really cannot thank you enough. Um, you are so, so, so generous and so kind. Um, gift card money with a $35.72? That is so generous. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What the heck? Okay, go to sleep. Tomato ages up in like three days. Um, tomato is still a teen though. We could probably like speed along if we wanted to. Maybe I'll age up brick tomorrow and then tomato the day after or something. Or we could age them both up tomorrow, I don't mind. Uh, Ricky with the $40. Who says, for a great cause from a formal, from a former purple haired girl. Thank you so much, friend. We are at $308,000 raised for St. Jude, by the way. Thank you so much. Um, I really, really appreciate that. Okay, I can't even like, cause all the ghosties are here. I can't super speed. <laughs> Apple pie, the donation goal right now is how much we raised last year. That's why the number is so specific. 
That's how much we raised last year. Um, <laughs> Flatty Daddy for the win, Madison. Thank you for those donations too. Tomorrow is the last day, Chloe. Yeah, May 31st, last day of the fundraiser. <laughs> okay, hurry up. Why are you awake? You're always like, you sleep at such odd hours. This sim genuinely keeps sleeping at like the weirdest hours. Okay, just go back to bed. And then we wait. And then we wait. If it would hurry up. <laughs> please sleep, everyone please sleep. Please sleep. I'm gonna try and make you leave. Make Sim leave. Okay, thank you. Okay, anyway. Is that Mayor Whiskers? No. No, this is Mr. Business. <laughs> I might really quick try and play with him for a sec so he doesn't leave me or anything. Hug. Pet. Praise. I don't know. Please help. Please help. Oh. That's Harvey who got crushed by a vending machine. I haven't seen him in a while. Shoo. <laughs> Don't worry, besties, we did press the buzzer for 308k. Don't worry, we did press the buzzer. I did see it. Don't worry. From my dog, Bitsy, with the $25. Thank you so much, friend. Um, I really appreciate that. Okay. Back to sleep. The cat does have a hat, yes. Yes, indeed. Um, okay. Auto lights. Oops. On all lights, all lights. Oh, like it is on all lights. It's just there's a cat in here that's awake. Never mind. That makes more sense. Um, that makes sense. <laughs> Maya, thanks for the twenty dollars to St. Jude. Thank you so much. Um, it's the first day of winter, and I'm gonna age these people up. I think. You wanna take a shower? Come on. Come on. Come take a shower. I might actually make tomato bake the cake. I'll age them both up because I'm kind of ready. Oh, maybe I'm not ready. Maybe I'll age up her brother today and then tomato tomorrow. I don't know. I feel like they're supposed to be like not the same age. So let's split it up. Um, oh, Cat Lady Cairo with $150 donation to St. Jude. They said, earned a values and action award at work and couldn't think of a better cause. Thank you for that donation. Thank you so much. Um, how do I use an old gift card? I think, uh, Ulex, I think that when people are doing that, they're using up like old Visa gift cards and stuff. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Um, abs with the 22, 22 for my sweet mom. Thank you so much, friend. The house is cold. Oh, I haven't, I have to change the, um, I probably have to change the thermostat, don't I? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, set it to be a little bit warmer inside, please. Pet inspired dollar train with the $1 from Wash the Cat. Hey, I'm not complaining. I accept that. I'd love to hear your pet's names. Oh, you're in the, what are you doing? Get out of the counter. Are you stuck? No, he's not stuck. Oh, and Moya with the $150 donation to St. Jude as well. Thank you so much. Um, but you can use like old Visa gift cards and then enter the info like it's a credit card number, basically. Um, Dan's gonna dye his hair purple, or I'm gonna dye Dan's hair purple, I should say. <laughs> I'm gonna dye Dan's hair purple, I should say. Okay. Did you get eaten by a cow plant? Oh my god, why did you do that? Oh. Okay, well, while I'm here, I'm actually gonna toss, like, a whole bunch of this stuff. Um, just because I know that when she dies, I'm not gonna need it anymore, and she already maxed the career. We finished, like, everything we need to do. Um, for her gen, so I might as well clear out some of it. She already finished all of her stuff. It's like ready in time for us to start the next gen, so. I can't believe she did that. I can't believe she did that. Dollar trade from Stevie the Cat Bunny. Thank you all for those donations to St. Jude too. Okay, let's see if we can cook um, photos. I'm not gonna sell her photos. When she dies, I'll just go into our inventory. I just wanted to get rid of, like, the other stuff that we didn't really need. Like, the, the, um, items and stuff. You know? All those little collectibles. We don't really need those. Clear it out a little bit, you know? He didn't change the thermostat? I thought he did. Oh, well, he, he didn't. 
I must have been stuck for real then. My potato dog Mo with a hundred dollars anonymous with a twenty from them and their two tuxedo cats. Thank you so much. Um, <laughs> anonymous with twenty five dollars. Asher the cat, Boots, Winnie, and Jeff with the donations. Thank you so much. Oh, I pulled my headphones out. Oops. 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 Yeah, the yellow gen does need to be friends with Flossie. That's why I'm um. That's why I'm trying to. I said cook photos. I meant cook cake. I don't know what I said. Don't laugh at me. There's a lot going on. <laughs> Chrissy, Luna, thank you for the donations. Yeah, we're gonna, um, we're definitely gonna make sure that Flossie can be friends with, um, her grandkids. She's still got plenty of time. She won't be- Oh, God! No! I almost aged up the wrong sim. Sorry, false alarm. It's all good. It's all good. I don't think it worked. I think I fixed it. I think I fixed it. I think we're fine. <laughs> Disaster avoided. Olivia and Poppy the puppy. Danny, pet dollar train. Luna the Labrador. Um, Twiglet the dog. Chrissy the Miv dog. <laughs> From my cats. Funny, Marley, Freddy, Yin and Yang. If Peppa is seven feet tall, she's taller than a fall guy. Bromley, David, Sloan, and Hurley. Toby. Oh my goodness, Victor and Dawn, Olivia and Poppy, thank you all for those donations. Uh, Casey with the $75. Oh, donating is your pets really just worked out really well. Um, okay, I'm gonna randomize this. Oh, good, that's a good one. That is actually a good one. Maybe I will age up her too. Honestly, you know what, let's age up Tomato, it's fine. It's only two days away. Let's do it now, I'm bored. <laughs> okay, well, she has to have the, I believe, snob trait is her, her final one. Hot-headed, snob, and romantic she needs to be. Great. <laughs> Mr. Fancy Pants the cat, Kennedy, Lori, uh, Sally, Case, my cat named Dog, uh, Luna and her angel brother Opie, Casey, <sighs> Tilly and Chester, thank you so much everyone. What the heck, what the heck? All right, um, well you can now join the politician career, so. <laughs> Let's get a move on, shall we? Politician. Excellent. Okay. Successfully promote cause. I have never done that before. I haven't played this career in so long. So, so, so long. Yeah, get a jump start and accept the assignment. Choose a cause to support. Oh, there we go, that's easy. Um, birthday donation from Lucy, happy birthday! I'll sing you a song. <laughs> Reggie and Astrid, uh, Tiku, Dash and Violet, Che, or Chai, Mango, Peach, Marshmallow, and Clementine. I have a friend named Che, so I always read it as Che, even though most people, I think, are Chai <laughs> when they have a pet named Chai. But I have a friend who spells it that way that's named Che. Um, Charles, Kennedy, Tilly and Chester, Tittles the Tortoise. Um, thank you all for those donations to St. Jude, too. Okay, I have to choose a cause to support. Political career, pick cause. Foundation for less mischief, no sim left behind, simoleons for everyone, speak for the trees, world united. What do you think? What do you think? Less mischief as an act against her mother? Maybe. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Um, gift card money, Louis Vuitton, John, Kate, Avocado, Eleanor, Draco, Altera, thank you all for those donations, what the heck? Yeah, we just aged up red into a young adult just now. Trees? Let's do Speak for the Trees. I like Speak for the Trees. I picked it. I'm gonna Speak for the Trees. And now I'm gonna go speak to myself in the mirror. <laughs> now I'm gonna go speak to myself in the mirror. Carl the Bi Ball Python. Gift card I got from work, um, Theo, Katrina, getting married on Thursday. Hey, congrats! Oh my god. <laughs> we're only at 309. What the heck? <laughs> oh, you were making a poll? I'm sorry, Christine. Um, I'm sorry. Ponyo, Big Pencil, Petey, and Zeppo, Anastasia, thank you all for those donations. Any chance I'd write something out and you would get it tattooed? Oh my goodness, are you sure? Are you sure? You want me on you? Are you sure? 
if you, you can email okay okay <laughs> um if you're serious you can email contact at lilsimsy.com contact at lilsimsy.com so i could send you but uh yeah i'll do it but are you sure <laughs> that's a lot of that's a lot of pressure <laughs> oh i'll go to your house eugene i'll go to your house um from pig and sandy summer with a 20 dollars happy birthday i'm singing you a song <laughs> Sadie, Josh, thank you so, so, so much. Um, name suggestions for the plum gen of Not So Berry, they asked. Uh, Toaster, Kitty, thank you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you for those donations. He's got such a big family. All right, talk about cooking, sexy pose, kiss hands. The two of us are gonna have a baby soon, but not yet, because I want to at least go to like one or two days of work. Oh, I have 3,500 points. Wait, should I get like incredibly friendly or maybe beguiling? I don't know. Great kisser. Wait, increase charisma with every kiss. Oh, <gasps> that's really good actually, because she needs to max the charisma skill. I think that might be the way. I feel like, um, I feel like that's kind of a good plan. Kiss in the rain. Yeah, I gain charisma from that. Kiss neck. Do I gain it from kissing necks? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Kiss cheek. I worked 12 hours today for medical research. Thank you for that donation. Thank you for what you're doing. Um, Lizzie, Sarah, Moonbear with the $50, Belle, Lily, Dexter, Cinnamon, Peppy, Riley, and Bean. In honor of my mom who, who beat cancer this year and Raven, thank you all for those donations too. Um, does she grow up polite? No, we have good manners and we're responsible. <laughs> Amanda, thanks for the $25 too. I think that's pretty good actually. Let's see, um, attempt a mistletoe kiss. Does that get my skill up? No, I think it has to be like regular kissing. Kiss in the rain. Well, either way, we are gonna kiss a lot of people. So, this is fine by me. It does, oh, it goes up fast. <gasps> Wait, she only got level five earlier before we came over here. Oh, wait a minute, this might be kind of OP. Wait, do it again. I think he might have denied me just then. Or are they f having a hard time? Is it not working? I don't know! Marta and Doris, um, for the kids, Autumn, Lacey, and Riddles, Amanda, Raven, thank you all for those donations too. Well, OP means overpowered, sorry. <laughs> um, OP means, it's, we're referring to it as being like overpowered when we say that. Carl and Talia, my two tortoises? Thank you for that donation. He's like, please stop kissing me. I'm over this. I don't want to do this. <laughs> Leave me alone. Do I want to hang out tonight? Yeah, I'll go out with you, Rebecca. He won't kiss me, so I might as well go kiss her. <laughs> Midnight Morrows, thanks for the $20 to say Jude. Thank you so much. Um, if you travel to a micro home, do you still get the skill boost? Oh, I never thought about that. That's an interesting idea. Honestly, I hadn't really considered that. Um, we raised, by the way, someone in chat just asked, this number, that $321,574.69, that's once we raised for St. Jude last year. Um, I know people keep asking, so <laughs> that's what that is, and that's what the number, that's what we raised last year, too. Um, if you were curious. That's why that's there. <laughs> Um, anyway, Lucy, thank you for that donation to St. Jude. Thank you so much. Look, I'm kissing. I'm gonna get my- my needs up. I'm a- I'm a terrible person. <laughs> Woohoo in closet? Yeah, why not? This is terrible! What is wrong with you? There's a ghost watching! Maeve?! Oh my god! That's like my great great grandma. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, that's pretty.
pretty cringe. Risky Boohoo is on, but it's only on like 1%, so I'm not that worried about- Yes, I, we're not pregnant, it's fine. Um, alright, that's pretty cringe. Um, <laughs> I am not happy about that. <laughs> well, we need to find some more people to date, so maybe I'll get like, um... Maybe I'll get age, young adult. And then we could add in, we already are dating Eugene. Maybe we could add like, oh my God, Peter Bell. <laughs> Not the Bell family crossover. Um, from me and my seven chickens, three cats and one dog and Lucy, thank you for those donations. Caleb, we could date Caleb for a little bit. That could be funny. Um. And maybe like, are these three all siblings? How about Delaney? That's two more options, okay. Service dog Daisy, bring back the 69 cents, all with the donations too. Aren't you related to Caleb? Um, I think it's possible that one of our, I think that we might have, uh, we might be siblings with some of his kids. But yeah, there, see, there's my great grandmother Maeve who was just here. Um, we did have a, I swear we had a vampire child at some point. Oh yeah, look. Um, yeah, Caleb, we have, so these kids are, our great, gr yeah, our great, great, aunt is related to Caleb, but that's not really a concern of mine, to be honest. So, <laughs> I don't care about that too much. <laughs> Hello kitty, thank you for the donation to St. Jude. Okay, I might go see him now, honestly. Oh, I'm kind of stinky, maybe I'll go take a shower first and then we'll go cheat on my uh, two partners with Caleb. So, that sounds like a good time, yeah. Snarty, $3 for my dog and two cats. Thank you for those donations too, thank you so much. Um, anyway, I'm not that worried about it. <laughs> We're not blood related to, to Caleb at all. It's just that like one of our great grandparents had kids with him, but we're not related to those Sims. So we don't share any blood with Caleb. Why not date one of the Bells? Bestie, we have to date 10 people. So we will. Just, you know, give me time. <laughs> oh my God, Kalani with the $500 donation to St. Jude. <laughs> Thank you so much! We're at 310,000. Um, Emily, Kermit the Frog, leftover gift card balance. Thank you for those donations too. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> um, I don't think it's 10 at the same time. Let me check the exact, uh, wording. It's kiss 10 sims, have a strong romantic relationship with three sims at once, and have had eight partners. So we have to date eight people. We have to kiss 10 Sims. So have kissed 10 different Sims. Um, so we'll definitely, you, you know, we'll get there. We're going to date like half the town <laughs> at this point. <laughs> so um, is there leftovers in there? Really? Oh, maybe I'll just bring Caleb to the bar or something. Kissing hands counts. Oh, really? Well, that's good to know, actually. Um. I'm gonna go to, how about one of the bars in San Myshuno? Let's go to the Stargazer Lounge with Caleb and hope that none of my other uh, partners show up. Cause that would be bad. <laughs> I mean, Lana, thank you for the donation. Thank you so much. Am I gonna add more Sims like to the town? Yeah, probably. I might wait until she has a kid though so that the kids will grow up with the other kids. Emma, Emmy, thank you for those donations to St. Jude. Thank you so much. Um, 
No, the goal is the exact amount that we raised last year. It's not a cent over because it was it was at 69 cents last year. Tell a dirty joke. Sexy pose. Okay, he doesn't like it. <laughs> okay, thank you uh, very much. Political career. Debate politics from the left. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> okay, heartfelt compliment. Tell gross joke. Uh, brighten day. Do an impression. I don't know. Dango, Ellie Belly, stop ruining the 69 cents, besties. Um, Emmy, thank you all for those donations. <laughs> Offer rose, perhaps? Kiss hands again? Thank you. So curious about you, Caleb. What an interesting guy. The way he's now dated more than one person in this family, too. Ask for small loan. Yeah, try it. See if it works. Oh, go away! You're really ruining the vibes. I'm trying to flirt with this guy. Shoot! Can I take a photo with him? That'll fix it, don't worry. Was gonna buy a Sims kit, but this is better. Thank you for the donation. Marta, Tango, too. Thank you so much. I really think that she is so pretty. Um, I, like, genuinely, she's one of my favorite Sims we've had in a long time. I love Tomato. I think she's great. Okay, am I gonna kiss him in the bathroom? I think he- I think he's hissing at a toilet. I- I think he's literally hissing at a toilet. That's, like, really weird. Do you have anything to say for yourself? <laughs> Why are we all in here? What's going on? <laughs> Why are we all in here? <laughs> for the chaos with the 1803 to St. Jude, too. Thank you so much. I guess it's a little bathroom party, you know? Oh, they're kissing. <gasps> oh, he shoved his hand in my face. He didn't want to kiss me. Oh, no. Okay, never mind. Awkward, awkward. Rally to the cause. Just, um, switch it up. Switch it up. Let's, oh, not from the right. Oh, good God. Sorry. Um, let's make sure we do some, discuss expanding the family. Hang on, I'm gonna befriend him, don't worry. LG with the $20, gay rights at the 585. Thank you both so much. Um, okay, I promoted my cause successfully, so that's good. I'm not gonna kill him, probably. Everyone, like, is in my bathroom. It's really weird. Can you go away? I'm serious. Oh, they're hugging! Okay, I feel like he might be okay with kissing me now. I'm gonna try. I offer him a rose. Oh, yes! There's my three first kisses. Okay, I should go home. We're getting there. We're getting there. Don't worry, everyone. It's a work in progress on the aspiration. It's going pretty well. Thank you. <laughs> he kissed me and then ran away. <laughs> I can't say I blame him. But, um, anyway. <laughs> Today's your girlfriend's birthday. Oh my goodness. Um, her name is is Mad in chat. Happy birthday. I'm gonna sing a song. <laughs> and Gabs with the $50 to St. Jude too. Thank you so much. All right, you can go to sleep. You, my dear, have work at 8 a.m. Oh my God, yeah, go to sleep. You stayed out way too late. And Brick, um, he kind of wants to be a painter. So maybe I'll put him in the painting career. Just so I can get him, you know, doing something. That would be good for him. All right, go to sleep. We'll take care of their needs tomorrow. Everyone's going to sleep. When is she moving out? Not yet. I want to stay here a little bit longer. Um, I'm not quite ready to move out just yet. I want to be here for a bit. I think. Um, I'm having a good time, so. <laughs> I need to make sure that we... Um, get Brick a partner too, so. Yeah, the Mint one finished everything. We did the career, we did the aspiration, we did the collections, like the Mint Gen has finished everything. Um, her, her whole, um, all of her rules are completed, luckily. So we're good there with the Mint Gen. It's done. The Mint one's name is Flossie. 
when we get to 310, a few minutes ago, um, someone very generously donated $500 a few minutes ago. Um, we are gonna dye Dan's hair purple, Anna. Yeah, that's the plan. Um, yes, indeed. Okay. <laughs> Early gift for my birthday on June 3rd. Oh, happy almost birthday, friend. Thanks for that donation to St. Jude, too. What happened to Bethany, too? Oh, the imposter? Dead. 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 <laughs> um, Robin, I would, and I totally have before, but because, um, I have reasoning for this, Robin. Because Tomato's only allowed to have one kid, um, I want her kid to have cousins. Oh, 7,000 for bills? Oh my god. So I really want Brick to have kids so that they, they can have cousins, because they won't have any siblings. I think that's important to me. Does that make sense? Um, I'd like, I'd like for them to have cousins. I want to have lots of family around, despite the fact that there's not a lot of us, you know? Um, so I want Brick to have kids. That's kind of my thought process. Um, okay. Use, take a shower. <laughs> Anyway. <laughs> yeah, his name's Brick. You think Brick is worse than Tomato? Really? Okay, we are gonna- I think I might have her go to work today, to be honest. Um, on this fine and lovely day, I'm gonna send you in. Can you finish sleep- well, maybe don't. Don't- whatever you do, don't mess with that. I think she wants to go feed the fish, so you can do that, that's fine. Yeah, Brick is a real name. I think Brick is, like, way more normal than Tomato. <laughs> but everybody always points out Tomato or Brick like it's weird. <laughs> um, what happens if you have twins or triplets? If she's gonna have twins, I'm just gonna delete one of them. I'm gonna actually keep that thing. But yeah, if she's gonna have twins, I'm just gonna delete one of them. Before she gives birth. I'm, like, not that worried about it. <laughs> That's very easy to do, so... <laughs> What? What? That's normal. You're only allowed to have one baby in the rules. That's the rules. Have only one child. I don't care if you don't delete yours, but I'm only gonna have one. That's what I want. It's not illegal. It's perfectly reasonable. And yeah, thanks for the $10 to St. Jude, by the way. Thank you so much. Um, anyway. <laughs> Eleanor and her cat, Minnie, with the $20. Happy birthday, friend. I'll sing you a song. <laughs> it's perfectly reasonable. Well, she's not even gonna have twins. It's really not that deep. Guys, I can very easily, if if for some reason she happens to get pregnant with twins, I can very easily adjust the pregnancy in MC Command Center. And it's like such a not, not a big deal. It's such a non-issue. It really is like... <laughs> I'm sorry, Christine. Tomato is a great name, and I shouldn't have said that. Tomato is a great name. Best name. Honestly, yeah, work hard. You don't even have work today. You want to go paint? Come on, bestie. Let's go. Or maybe you could go try and find someone to date. People, person, lifestyle, performance, gain, medium. Okay. <gasps> Cookie Monster with a $250 donation on behalf of my rabbit, Sir Henry Bunn who turned two years old last week. Say hi to your bunny for me. That makes me so happy. I love that. Like, I actually love that. Okay, maybe I'll join, um, this club just so I can add some people that we can date into it. Oh, wait, I can't because I can't edit the club. Um, never mind. Get me out of this club. Or wait, was it for like unmarried young adults? Wait. Send alone. Not married, young adult. Oh, that's easy. That makes, that's what I need. Um, Kent. Delaney? Noah? Kent has a twin called Douglas, it seems. Maybe I'll meet them both. And... Mia! Oh, I can't get more sims, sorry. <laughs> the Howard family with the $50 donation for current St. Jude patient Opal Brock. Thank you, thank you, thank you for that generous donation, friends. 
Um, Socks the Ghost Bunny. I have a test tomorrow, but I'm doing this. Hey, thank you so much. We should double date the Kent and Douglas. I might actually go do that. Wait, <laughs> let's see if we can bring them somewhere. I'm not gonna move Tomato out yet, Joy. I wanna wait a little bit longer. Um, maybe when she's pregnant, we'll move her out. That's kind of my thought process. I need to go meet the twins and see which one is better. <laughs> oh, we could have, oh my God. And then Tomato could date one of the other, the other twin. <laughs> oh no, oh no. Yeah, no, Fanta, I'll ask people to make Sims. I always do that, don't worry. I'll ask people to make the Sims when I do it. All right, let's go look at them in Cass. This is wrong. Okay, here's their mom. Niece. Here's Kent. Okay, vampire aspiration, red flag. Snob, geek, neat. Okay. And your brother. Also vampire aspiration, red flag, but music lover, recycled disciple, paranoid. And eyeball ring. Hmm. Red flag. We're dating Caleb. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. But you know what I mean. I don't like this outfit. Put on something better. Honestly, yeah. I don't know who's best. I'm not really sure. We need to spend some time thinking about it. Um. Honestly, whoever chooses to date me faster... <laughs> I hate to say it, but that's kind of how I feel. <laughs> Whoever is interested in me sooner is maybe the one. The eyeball for I feel like the eyeball flag or eyeball ring. Wait, the eyeball. <laughs> I feel like the eyeball ring is not a red flag is what I was trying to say. <laughs> the eyeball flag. <laughs> what am I saying? I feel like the eyeball ring is not actually a red flag. I feel like um, it's maybe it's a green flag. Eyeball flag. That's not right. <laughs> Wish me luck. Um, you're planning on coming out to your family this Pride Month. Hey, my friend, I am so, so, so proud of you. Thank you for that donation. Um, and I am sending you so much love. So, so, so much love. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and Kira, thank you for the $5 to St. Jude, too. Yeah, I don't know about these pants. <laughs> I was just thinking that. I was like, yeah, I don't know about these pants. <laughs> you can wear that. I don't care. It's hot weather, cold weather. I don't like you, Douglas. What about you? Is there anything good from the new kit? Maybe not for cold weather. Oh yeah, there is. <gasps> Wait, maybe I'm team Kent. Cause like, maybe this is kind of cute. Right? I don't know, we can, we can date. But he wants to be a vampire? Yeah, but so does his brother, you know? Eyeball flag merch. <laughs> uh, my tiny tot, thank you for those donations to St. Jude too. I like that. I like that, I think he could be good. I don't care what he wears, to be honest. Are there any good styled looks from the new kit? Oh yeah, there are, but I don't really want him to wear that. That's not, that's not what I think Kent would wear. I don't know what I think Kent would wear. I literally don't care is the thing. That's fine. Let's just go talk to them both and we'll see what they do and what they say. That's my key, I think, is we'll just, um, we'll just, we'll just talk to them and we'll see how it goes. Um, okay. Anyway. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, Sam, we were gonna, but if you missed it, we had to move it to Friday because my wig was delivered, but it's not here. Like, it got delivered to the wrong house. So I bought a wig, and it's not here, and so we did a poll in the Discord to decide, and we thought that it made more sense to do it, um, on Friday when the wig is actually here, so. If you ever are curious about things like that, I always post announcements in the Discord, so you could have been involved in, like, the polling if, if you had, um, if you were in the Discord server. Don't feel like you have to join, but, um, that's kind of our, uh, thought process as I usually post in there about that kind of thing to give everybody warning in advance, you know? 
Um, talk about temperature. He seems nice enough. Oh, he ran away. Oh, I just want to get this over with. Come on. Come on. Okay, we're all over here. I don't want to be in the club. Like, I don't... I'm here. Oh, God. I'm here specifically for one person. Eh? It's moving while well paused. I keep seeing this glitch and I don't like it. Lavender, thanks for the donation to St. Jude. Debate game strategy. Sing about rebate day. Jar Jar Beaks, thank you for that donation too. Okay. Um, where did you go? Come back. It's so creepy. I think that's been happening since the update last week, like last Tuesday, and I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. Um, Sue, thank you for the $50 donation to St. Jude in memory of your brother, Sean. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, my friend. I cannot thank you enough. Um, I really, really appreciate that. Okay, sing about rebate day again. Heartfelt compliment. Share photos, perhaps. Your game's doing that too? Yeah, it's so weird. Talk about the windy weather. When do you get off? 3 p.m.? Okay. Talk about handiness. Share ideas. Tell a joke about ducks? Maybe, maybe. Yes, yes. Wasn't just your game when this glitch happened? No, no, it's been happening to me too, don't worry. Um, it's been happening to me too. <laughs> um, okay. Let's see. Discuss world peace? Do an impression? They seem to be getting along pretty well, so that's good. We'll have to talk to the other brother too, just to see. We gotta know which one's best. <laughs> I do like him though. I think he seems good. Do you have a job? Ask about career. Tell me, tell me. No, no, the club is Jack Needs a Date because this club was originally made back when my sim Jack was trying to get a, a partner. And then I just joined this one even though Jack's long dead. Yeah. So. If I date both of them. Magics, I did think about that, but then I thought, oh, maybe I should have Tomato date the other one because she has to date like 10 people. It makes more sense to have Tomato have more options. That's kind of my thought process at the moment, is that it makes more sense for Tomato. <laughs> Jack was like several generations ago, yeah. Um. <laughs> Jet and Michaela and Alexander, thank you for those donations to St. Jude. Thank you so much. Tomato should leave one at the altar. I think we're gonna have Tomato leave, um, leave her boyfriend Eugene at the altar. I think we're gonna, so here's my thought process. Oh, I got promoted. Very nice. My thought process is that um, because Tomato um, has to date so many people, but she also has to leave someone at the altar and she has to have just one kid, I feel like it's kind of fun, the thought of her getting pregnant with Eugene's baby, her like high school sweetheart. They get engaged because they think they have to and then she's like, oh, I don't want to get married and then they break up. That's my thought process is that she would leave Eugene at the altar. I, I think that makes the most sense to me, and that's kind of what I want to do. Um, and then maybe we could eventually get married to Eugene as an, as an elder, like we're supposed to in the challenge. Um, I don't know, it just seems like it could be a fun um, storyline. I don't know, we'll see. I have a crush on you? Okay, I'll go on a date with you. <laughs> I'll go out with you, Caleb. Let me just eat my mac and cheese first, and then I will. No, I can't join that career. Level five, though, is big. Sorry, but I can't. That would have been nice, but I need to stay in this career. <laughs> oh, we're level three! <gasps> Wait! Does she start on level two because of her grades in school? Oh, that's good. That helps us, actually. Okay. Let's ask him on a date, and we'll see if we can go out with Caleb. I like that plan. We need to get, um, a strong romantic relationship with him. 
So. I'll make a donation. I feel like I can't very well say no to a charitable donation today. On this second to last day of our charity fundraiser. Simsy, you just texted my sim? Who? Where? What? What does that mean? <laughs> bills, though? Oh, we just paid the bills yesterday. In game? Oh! Oh my god. Literally, my sim texted your sim in game. Okay, sorry. <laughs> like, my sim self in your game texted your sim. Okay, I got it. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. If it would just hurry up, that would be fantastic. And I was like, hey, let's hang out. Okay, I respect that. Yeah, Yellow Jen's gonna be Eugene's kid. Yes, that's the plan, is that we'll have kid with um with Eugene. I just gotta date this Sim though, first. Kiss hands. Hello. I need to have a strong romantic relationship with three Sims at once. Woohoo, in closet? With a vampire? If I get pregnant from this, I'm gonna be devastated. Oh, he said no. So never mind. Yikes. I'm too angry to romance him. Oh my god, the hot headed trait. Water conservation. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Well, Caleb is dazed, I think that's why. So that kind of makes sense, but I think it's because this area is, it might be a juiced community, so I might have to get rid of that. I don't really want that. Yeah, we might have to take an angry poop. Might be the only way. I might do that. Let me go, I'm gonna go take an angry poop. Oh my god, the vines are still here. It's been there for ages. I'm just, I'm just going home. Get me out of here. Honestly, I had a bad date and I'm going home. I can't deal with this. I can't. I just can't. I would like to return home. Okay. Yes, please. Thank you. Thank you. And the vines remain. <laughs> we had saved, um, Tomato's mom, uh, had saved Strangerville. So it's long, it's long over, but, um, it seems I never got rid of the vines in that toilet. So... All right, and you're in a bad mood. So do you want to go watch some TV? That might make you feel better. Anonymous with the 420 to St. Jude. Thank you so much. I might save my game too. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Skylar, thanks for the $5 as well. Barry Potts. I did become friends with Kent. Maybe that's a good sign. If like his, his um, grandma is calling and being like, hey, I heard you met somebody. Maybe that's good. Maybe that's what we need. Oh, Cindy, thanks for the hundred dollars to St. Jude too. Thank you so much. Try to cheer up. I know he's sad probably because somebody's family died. Everybody's always dying in this save. Allie with $150 to St. Jude as well. Thank you so much. Oh my God. 311,000 already. What the heck? What the heck? <laughs> Thank you all so much. Thank you so much. You made the button happen. You did, Allie. You did. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're just $10,000 away from how much we raised last year as well. The, this, the goal, that 321,000 number, that's how much we raised last year. Um, so we're getting kind of close to uh, catching up to what we raised last year, which is quite cool. Um, serve dinner. Do I make some chili? I don't know. That seems like fun. I like it. I like it. I just want to get a little bit of extra food in the house because we're running low. Okay, come on. Hurry up. Almost done. You got it. You're almost done. It's 10 p.m. You're almost done. Tomorrow is the last day of the fundraiser, Res. Tomorrow, May 31st. We've been raising money for the entire month of May, so tomorrow is the last day. Um, should be quite fun, I think. Okay. Oh, wait, you're a vegetarian. Oh my god, I'm so not smart. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. I don't eat meat either. <laughs> I always forget about my Sims being vegetarians, though. Oh, no. Anastasia, Anonymous, 
Thank you for those donations. I'll, I'll look at it later, Anastasia. Thank you so much. Um, also, hi, Dad. No, you did not miss the Katy Perry stream. Bestie, if you missed it, um, I know it's confusing. We had to have a, a late, last-minute change of plans because my Katy Perry wig that I ordered said it was delivered and was not delivered yesterday. I thought when it said it came yesterday in the morning, I was like, oh, it must be in the mailbox. That's fine. It's not in the mailbox, so it's it's nowhere. It's not on my Porsche, not in the mailbox. I think most likely they probably put the key to the package, like to the bigger thing, in somebody else's mailbox by accident, and so I can't get it. Um, so I had to order a replacement wig. It's not here, obviously. So we decided, we did a poll in the Discord, um, and we decided it made more sense to do the Katy Perry stream on Friday instead. So today we're going to dye Dan's hair. <laughs> uh, that's our, our uh, change of plans, um, our turn of events. Um, <laughs> I won't lie, I was extremely stressed out by this last minute change of plans. I had to like run to the store and buy hair dye. Um, <laughs> I'm really stressed out about it. <laughs> uh, but we're gonna do that in like 20 minutes. We're gonna dye Dan's hair. So that should be kind of fun. Um, the key to the- so Tofu, um, when there's like a package delivered to my mailbox, um, they put it in like one of the bigger mail slots, but they put the key to the bigger mail slot in my mailbox. Does that make sense? So I think they put the key to the bigger mailbox in someone else's mailbox instead of mine by accident. It's easy to put them in the wrong spot. So that's what I think happened, is that it got put in the wrong spot. Uh-oh. Somebody drowned? <laughs> oh no! I'm like checking the neighborhood stories and bad things are happening. Um, we're gonna dye his hair purple. It's gonna be fun. Um, but anyway, I don't have the wig. Henry died trying to make cereal, but it burst into flames? Uh-oh. Peter Bell has started a job as a fishery specialist in the marine biologist career, okay. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Oh, good. We got some babies born. Jacqueline, Alice Ryan Anonymous, thank you for the donations to St. Jude. Babies being adopted. Cereal is dangerous. If I've learned one thing from The Sims 4, it's that cereal is extremely dangerous. Okay, please come feed this cow plant. Honestly, milk the cow plant too. Okay. And then you could go serve us some breakfast up. Breakfast up. Um, serve breakfast. You want to make some pancakes? I would like that. And luckily for us, Tomato has off work today. So we can try and finish up that, um, strong relationship with three Sims thing. <laughs> so. We're gonna dye Dan's hair in literally, like, 18 minutes, Pop Queen. 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Very soon. Very soon. Um. Cereal is the number one cause of fire, apparently, yeah. <laughs> that checks out, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Do you know what? I might, um, somebody said that if you kiss your pet, it counts as, um, I can't anyway, but I, I should talk to the pet. Hannah, in honor of my grandpa who is still fighting, thank you for that donation to St. Jude, friend. Thank you so much. Um, okay. This flooring isn't from a pack, Abby, it's base game. This is base game flooring. Serafina, who says hello from Australia, thank you so much. Um, can I kiss you now? No, are we not close enough, Mr. Business? Please! Please! Yeah, me and Dan are both gonna stream it, Jinx. Um, we're both gonna stream it, that's the plan. No need to worry, it's gonna be really easy. You can just keep watching the stream, but still, we're gonna be right here. <laughs> it's totally fine. <laughs> um, Tiana, thanks for the five dollars to St. Jude. I really appreciate that, friend. Thank you so, so, so much. Um, okay, I think after I offer friendship, I should be able to kiss the cat. I'm about to offer friendship, so it should work soon. Friendly. Hug? Did you not accept my friendship? Encourage misbehavior? Oh my god. Send alone. Oh, Winterfest is tomorrow. Oh, that's good to know. So, my PC died, and there's this programming thing I've been working on. I figure I can use the machines at GeekCon to finish up, but don't want to go there alone. Will you come with me? This is my dead mom. Real question, is it her real dead mom, or is it the clone that's inviting me out? Ray with the one dollar who says dollar train, anyone? I mean, you make a good point. If everyone here donated just one dollar, we'd raise a lot of money for St. Jude. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. 
<laughs> it said number two. It's fake, Bethany? Oh my god, I can't be seen with her. Anyone but the clone. Oh, well, never mind. I'm simply not interested. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll talk to her anyway. <laughs> Maybe I'll share a secret. Maybe I can invite Caleb out here then. To GeekCon. That seems like a good idea. Caleb will be right over. Okay, I'm trying to sort of stall a little bit because I don't really want to um, have the baby today. I think I want to do it next stream that we play that. <laughs> Harsh melon. <laughs> Harsh melon. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for that $1,000 donation. <sighs> they said, I'm a YouTube viewer, but I just had to stop by to drop this off. In memory of my brother, Randy, who died of kidney cancer in 2010. So much love to you, Kayla, and to all your community. Proud to be a part of it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for that huge donation to St. Jude in, in honor of your brother. Thank you so, so, so much. Oh my god. <laughs> thousand dollars um and cynthia uh, dollar train geek con dollar train two dollar train thank you all for those donations too what the heck <laughs> what the heck we've raised almost ten thousand dollars today and we've been live for like less than two hours i really cannot thank you all enough thank you so 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 much thank you so much <sighs> oh my god Okay, while I'm here, um, do you wanna- is Caleb here? I'm like, I need to date people. Maybe you could talk to Harrison a little bit. Come here, do a little polite introduction. <laughs> Maya Ginger, thank you for those donations too. Anonymous as well. Oh, wait a minute! Oh my god, easy! No, we should date the alien as one of our- as one of our dates. Forget it, we should date the alien as one of ours. I think that's an absolutely very easy solution is to date the alien. Come on. Go talk to her. Yes! Oh, and the polite introduction is so good. Okay, um... Shall we, like, flatter, maybe? We could try and date one of each occult- Yeah, we could try and date one of each occult! That's so funny! Um, you're going to easily pass last year's total! Thanks for the kind words! Um, also, Emily, in honor of my sister, five-year survivor this year, thank you so much! Um, Parasocial Bestie, Let's Beat Last Year, Sarah, Tinker, Ducky, Morgan, thank you so much for those donations to everybody. Thank you so much. Are the rockets fixed yet? I don't know. I hope so. <laughs> it's letting me go up in this one, so that's good. But, um, shall I kiss this Sim's hands? Does kissing hands count as kissing a Sim? I suppose we'll find out. Oh, it did! Oh, that's easy! Oh, maybe I'll go woohoo with Caleb then. <laughs> Jessica, thanks for the $20 to say Jude. Oh, that's terrible. This is wrong of me. This is wrong of me. Did he say yes? Oh my god, he did. Oh my god. Caitlin, Jessica, thank you for the donation. <laughs> oh, all right. Have fun up there, besties, I guess. Oh no. What about Sharon, the alien baby? Oh yeah, we meant to go talk to Sharon too. We can date Sharon as well. We have to date 10 Sims, so. I'm not gonna be a style influencer. Come cakes, Catherine, Alice, thank you, thank you. This is for you and your dad making me cry during work hours today. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Thank you so much for the donation. Yeah, we do. Oh, 50 mile high club. Ew, stop doing that. Look at him, he's hissing. Creepy! Rocket whoop whoop, my dad says. Yes. <laughs> um, Slug and, and Beefy, thank you for those donations to St. Jude, by the way. Oh my god, so we have to kiss 10 sims. I need to go through and do some more kissing. Maybe I'll go- oh, let me check to make sure I'm definitely not pregnant, though. Because I won't lie, if I am, I'm- okay, I'm not. I was like, if I am, I'm gonna have to take care of that. <laughs> but I'm not, so it's fine. <laughs> and then I want to go see about kissing Eugene. Because he's one more of them that we need to get. Um, 
Laura, thank you for the $20. St. Jude also, thank you so much. Oh my god. Oh, uh, Avocado, I've got, um, I have MC Command Center set to have my household max be 24. So, we can have way more sims <laughs> than just 8. Um, we're not gonna for this, because it's kind of glitchy. When you have more than 8 sims, you can't go into cast and stuff, because then when you, you can only have 8 sims in cast. So, if you have more than 8, then it deletes them and stuff. Um, and we don't really need to have more than 8 sims ever in this family anyway, but... Um, we, it was for some other things that we've been doing on stream this month. Um, so, okay. I think, um, send the $2 to St. Jude for my grandma, uncle, and dog who are currently fighting cancer. My friend, thank you, thank you, thank you for that donation to St. Jude. Thank you so much. Um, okay, I'm gonna sweet talk him. And then suave kiss. Oh, boy. And we're gonna have a baby next time, me and you. That's the plan, at least. Alright, I've kissed ten sims. I need to go kiss another. <laughs> Um, I need to go kiss it. Maybe I'll go to the old salt house, um, with Rebecca. Kim, thanks for the $10. Kaylin, Moonlight. Um, and Kaylin with donation memory of my grandma, Elena Rose. Moonlight for my grandma who has leukemia and for my granddad who had lung cancer. Thank you so much, friend, for that donation. Um, Cookie, we're gonna dye Dan's hair in like 10 minutes. We're dying Dan's hair soon. Um, you hated this aspiration? Yeah, I know. I don't love this serial romantic aspiration either. But I guess it's kind of fun because I don't- because I don't like the aspiration that much, I don't really use it that much. Um, so it's kind of fun to like, come on and- and try it. Also, yes, you can watch the old Not So Berry streams, Marjorie. I post all of my, um, VODs on- onto my YouTube channel called More Simsy, my second channel. Um, and there's a playlist for Not So Berry so you can watch them all. Um, they're all together in there, so. If you're looking, you can find them that way. Um, this water bottle? I got this from Target, Seraphie. Um, this is from Target. Speaking of which, I should drink some water. Okay, I might do a little suave kiss on you as well. Thank you very much. Oh, Eugene wants to go on a date? I just went on a date with you. Where is a good place to start watching the Not So Berry Challenge? Well, Ryan, I mean now, because we're like, we literally aged up Tomato into Young Adult today. So now is a good time to start watching because we're starting Tomato's Generation today. <laughs> um, so that helps, I think, that we're sort of starting a new one today. Um, but if you want to see um, the, like obviously all the VODs and stuff have their back on more Simsy if you're looking. <gasps> oh no! Morgan Fox? Oh, right here in front of his kids? Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! That's fine, I can bring his grave home. So, that's fine. <laughs> well, may you rest in peace, rip to you, but I'm bringing it home with me because I collect these, so. <laughs> oh my goodness, okay. Hurry up, get over it. You shouldn't even be sad. You don't even know him. Calm down. Okay, I'm gonna bring it home with me. Thank you, time to go. <laughs> A new grave for my collection, thank you. Can I explain the Not So Berry Challenge? It's really confusing. You think it's confusing, Toe Curlings? Um, the Not So Berry Challenge is very similar to a lot of other legacy challenges in that you're supposed to have 10 generations. Um, in Not So Berry, each generation is a different color theme. And they, each generation has kind of specific rules. So this generation, she's supposed to have a couple certain traits that are red. She's the red gen. She's in the politician career. Um, there's a couple rules like that. She has to master the charisma skill. Um, but the rules are really simple if you actually look at them. It's just if you forget them, they're kind of confusing. But there's a link in the chat to my Tumblr where the, the rules are. Because um, I wrote the challenge. But also, um, you can just Google Not So Berry. It'll come up if you ever need it. Um, yeah, I just stole this grave from his family. He died right in front of them and then I stole the grave and I brought it home with me. That's kind of wrong, actually. Um, I've dyed my hair before lotion um, quite a few times. I first dyed my hair purple, um, and then uh, I it turned green when it, the faded to blue and then faded to green. So I dyed over it a bunch of times brown, and then I dyed my hair pink, and then I re-dyed my hair pink a bunch of times. Um, so, <laughs> um, I've dyed my hair quite a few times. I've never dyed anybody else's hair, though. So that'll be new. Dan's never dyed his hair either. Um, Valerie, thanks for the $150 to St. Jude. 
um, Tigers, in honor of my grandfather, and Nat, Ella, Amy, or any doll, sorry, Maisie, Tay, amazing community. Thank you all for those donations. Um, uh, died at the old salt house right in front of me, lol. There we go. <laughs> There we go, that seems pretty good to me, everybody. I like it. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's bad, that's bad. All right, serve dinner. You wanna make up some grilled cheese or something? Anonymous Tigers, Valerie with $150 again. Thank you so much. Um, but anyway, I've dyed my hair before, so. I'm gonna save my game really fast, just in case, just to be safe. You like the LOL part of that? Cause I did. <laughs> Yeah, and then like when we move, we're gonna bring the graves with us. Yeah, absolutely. Um, people keep asking when is uh, Tomato gonna move? I'm gonna wait until she gets pregnant, I think, but she will move out soon. Um, she will move out soon. I just wanna wait until she's pregnant. I wanna spend a little bit more time with the family before we move out, I think. Um, that's kind of my thought process now, at least. Um, okay, tomorrow is actually gonna be Winterfest, so that'll be fun. Um, can I, like, befriend the cat some more? Give some food to Mr. Business? Plop down on a couch? I don't know. I don't know. Um, okay, I'm just gonna throw out a couple, um, I'm, no, what I'm gonna do is literally beg you. I'm literally going to beg you for a second, okay? Doing something like this, like dyeing someone's hair on stream, is so unbelievably stressful because everybody has really strong opinions and they are going to be mean about them. And even if they're not, the vast scale of them is so overwhelming to me. So I'm literally begging you to not do that, <laughs> okay? I don't really care if you think I'm doing it wrong. Oh no, Lamar died. Oh, that's our grandpa. Oh no. I don't care if you think I'm doing a bad job. You can keep it to yourself. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, couple things. No, I did not do a spot test. I didn't know I was gonna dye Dan's hair until this morning, and I bought this dye at 3 p.m., and then I went live at 4 p.m., okay? So, um, this is all very, ah, uh, <laughs> like, it's all happening very fast. So, um, what we're not gonna do is yell at Lil Simsy, okay? Um, we're gonna have fun. And if you, like, dye hair for a living, and, and what I'm about to do is gonna offend you, you can, you don't have to watch. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I know you mean well, but like the criticism and the yelling, which I already anticipate, it stresses me out to no end. So I'm just, I'm begging you to please be kind. <laughs> I'm literally begging you to please be kind. It's just hair, okay? It's just hair. Um, so <laughs> I'm just giving like a general, no one's criticized yet, obviously I haven't started. I'm just giving like a general like, in advance, I am begging you to please not do that. <laughs> Because I'm going to get really stressed, and I don't want to be stressed. <laughs> um, but anyway, I know that there's probably better ways to do it, and I'm not going to do the best job. It's okay. You know, it's okay. Um, it is okay. The other thing um, that I learned literally like an hour ago um, on stream is that apparently the owner or founder, I didn't, I just saw somebody in chat say, apparently the owner or slash founder of Arctic Fox, the hair dye brand that I bought, is a bad person. I didn't know that. I just bought it from Ulta. <laughs> um, I had heard of the brand, I had used it once before, like three or four years ago, and I was like, this one everyone keeps recommending, that's great. I didn't know the person was a bad person, so I sincerely apologize, I did not know that. Um, so just bear with me, I didn't know that, so. Um, anyway, um, okay. Go to sleep, shall we? Go to sleep, shall we? Um, all right, you wanna go take a bath and then go to sleep actually, maybe, 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 maybe. Um, anyway, <laughs> Anna, thanks for $25, Kate, Anna, Malibu, thank you all for those donations too. Um, anyway, I, I haven't researched it myself because I was told on stream. I don't have answers for you about questions about it. I'm just saying that someone told me and I felt bad, so I wanted to make sure that everyone knew. Oh, Clara died too? Oh no! Everyone on that side's dying. <laughs> No, Sarah, I don't want tips. I beg you, I don't want tips. I say it with love, but I don't want tips. I don't want tips. <laughs> we're not gonna bleach it first, Alice. No, we're not gonna bleach it first. Um, I think it should go over his hair okay, though. Um, 
I think it should be okay. Anyway, um, <laughs> anyway, that's my disclaimer, general disclaimer, um, to make sure everybody understands it's on the same page and stuff. So, um, we're gonna have fun and we're gonna dye Dan's hair for charity. And that's, that's the beauty of it. <laughs> um, hey, Hannah, thanks for $25 to St. Jude. Thank you so much. All right, I might um, check the neighborhood stories. Oh, nothing's happened yet. It's not 3 a.m. yet. Okay, save game, save game. Anyway, I will explain as soon as we, um, as soon as Dan comes in here, we'll get started. Baby was adopted. Child was adopted. Fun. Very, very fun. Okay, I'm gonna take down decorations. Cause tomorrow is Winterfest, so. Um, okay, anyway. Uh, Lucy, tips are for St. Jude only. Thank you for the donation. Thank you so much. Um, that's what I, that's how I feel too, Celestial. It's just for fun. It doesn't need to be perfect. It's okay. Um, I just worry, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I just get nervous. Um, okay, anyway, um, oh, we have another ghost. Oh, it's Elise! I, she's, like, from, like, five or six generations ago. Um, hello, 